Corral is having a Disney-themed concert. Welcome Week applications are out. And housing signups are this Tuesday. Keep watching. Thanks for joining us on our second episode of OBU TV. We have many exciting stories to share with you guys today. Today's Bible verse of the week is Psalms 18.6 that says, quote, In my distress I called upon the Lord. To my God I cried for help. From His temple He heard my voice, and my cry to Him reached His ears. End quote. We encourage you this week to call upon the Lord and bring your troubles and concerns to Him. College can be difficult, but you do not have to struggle alone. The Lord is always here and He wants to hear from you in your distress. On behalf of OBU Student Government Association, this week is Shoot Your Shot Week. From Monday, March 8th through Saturday, March 13th, OBU students are being encouraged to take a leap of faith and treat someone special to a few nights of fun activities. From Monday's Qdoba night to Tuesday's flashlight tag to Wednesday's UCS open mic night to Sadie Hawkins dance on Saturday. Students are sure to have a blast, whether they're single or taken. So be sure to check your email for more Shoot Your Shot Week activities. This way, you can grab a friend, or maybe even a crush, and take part in the fun activities SGA has set up. Hey students, do you want to help lead during Welcome Week? Well, you can. Welcome Week applications just open to be a small group leader, crew leader, or a spiritual team member. Working Welcome Week allows you to meet new students and make lifelong memories. You can find applications by going to the GC and scanning the QR code at the Welcome Week table. They are due March 12th. So Beth, are you applying for Welcome Week? I am. I'm really excited about it. What's your favorite part of Welcome Week? My favorite part is meeting the new students and trying to make an impact in their life before they get here. So. That's awesome. You better figure out where you want to live quickly because housing signups for next year are right around the corner. On March 16th and 18th, rising seniors and juniors and sophomores will be able to register for campus housing next year. Each student will receive an email detailing their housing lottery number, the housing they are allowed to live in, and the day they can register on. Upperclassmen looking to sign up for an apartment may want to do so on the 16th, whilst dorm signups do not open until the 18th. Signing up for classes is just right around the corner. While it doesn't start till April, it will be here before you know it. So start sending those emails to your advisor and set up a meeting. Check your email for more information about what days you will be signing up and how to do it. Also, don't forget to make sure that you don't have any holds on your accounts. Happy planning, or for some of y'all, happy procrastinating. Next Saturday, on March 20th, OBU is putting on a concert presented by the Division of Music. It will be called the Corral Pops Concert and will be held in Potter Auditorium at 7.30. From the looks of Flyer, it will be Disney-themed and you can get your free reservation at okbu.edu slash fineartsevents. OBU students, don't forget to check your emails to accept your CARES money. Students will need to fill out a short form that will come from noreply at hubspot.com or can be found by searching OBU Financial Services in your email search bar. If you cannot find the email, check your spam folder as some students have said that the email was sent there. The deadline is Friday. Please fill out the form as soon as possible to accept the funding. Have you had a chance to talk to Pl Tom Plaschetsky this week? Tom is a chartwells worker in the upstairs cafeteria who is known for his friendliness. However, something that many students don't know about Tom is that he is also a cancer survivor. Tom started working at OBU about a year ago as he was fighting leukemia. Since then, he has fully recovered and shares that he believes that the doctors, God, and the loving students of OBU are what healed him of his cancers. He said, quote, I feel as though every one of the students stood in line with a needle and a syringe that said cure and put it into my arm." End quote. So if you see Tom in the cafeteria this week, say uh, hi. He would love to tell you his story. Our university is in a time of transition. OBU administration has recently announced that they will be reorganizing the structure of the different colleges. Colleges such as the Business College, the Nursing College, and the College of Science will all be organized into one college. Likewise, all of the fine arts colleges, such as the Humanities and Social Sciences College, Hobbes College of Theology, and the Warren M. Angel College of Fine Arts Division, 
of music will all be restructured into a singular department. These two new reordered departments will be led by two deans, one per college. The 16 deans of the different departments prior to the restructuring are all being encouraged to apply for the two remaining dean positions. We at OBUTV understand that amid this time of change, fear and unease may rise up, but we encourage you to lean on the Lord and pray for wisdom for OBU's administrative team. After the break, Beth will be interviewing Rachel Lopez about her leadership role on campus. Why do you even try so hard? No one likes you. No one wants to hang out with you. Why would he post that? That's so He's stupid. so annoying. Why are you even here? You're so weird. You're so You're dumb. Fat he and decided ugly to post on no Instagram one again. You. How dumb. He's so annoying. Everyone at wow, school guess we're not taking super hint. weird. Why no do you even wants. try so hard? No one Why would he post that? No one That's so stupid. Just You're to fat and no ugly you. and no He's one so likes you. Weird. Hello and welcome back. Today we have with me my friend Rachel Lopez and our SGA Attorney General. Thank you for joining us, Rachel. So, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yes, so of course my name is Rachel Lopez. I am a freshman here at OBU. I am a honors biochem major, math minor, and I am the OBU SGA Attorney General. That's awesome. So what does it look like to be the Attorney General for SGA? So my job is to make sure that everything that we do is in alliance with the Constitution, making sure that we don't violate it in any way. And then additionally, we are in the process of a constitutional rewrite this semester. Wow, so how much do you get to contribute to rewriting that constitution? Um, it's me and a small writing team, and so we're going through and adding um, things that were previously undefined in our constitution, and then we'll pass it through the Senate and administration, so. That's really exciting. What made you want to run for this position? I regretted not having done student government back in high school, and I saw the amazing people that were a part of this organization when I came here, and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to invest in this campus. Yeah, that's amazing. Do you think you'll be able to run or want to run next semester as well? We will see. I don't know if I will be on the executive team next semester, but I will for sure be involved in some way, shape, or form. That's amazing. What's your favorite part of being a part of SGA? My favorite part is definitely being able to affect the day-to-day -day lives of students on campus. So things that they're concerned about, I'm easily able to present to our team and make sure that we do everything we can to better the on-campus experience for all of our students. That's amazing. Would you say you're kind of like a go-between between the general body and the um, executive branch of SGA? So originally what we do is the Senate is the direct voice of the student body, and then the executive team is the voice between the Senate and administration. That's amazing. Thank you so much for joining us today. And here we are with Sylvia in sports. Hey guys, it's Sylvia with your weekly sports. This past Sunday, the annual All-Star Game took place in Atlanta. Some of the highlights include Stephen Curry winning the three-point contest, Giannis Antetokounmpo winning MVP after going 15 for 15 in the shooting contest, and LeBron James keeping his perfect record of 4-0 after captaining another winning team. The entire All-Star game generated about $3 million that went to historically black college and universities. After the beginning of a great season for OBU athletes, many teams and individuals are being recognized. Women's soccer is now nationally recognized at 16th in the nation. Our very own Jason Eaker, the men's basketball head coach, just received the honor of GAC Head Coach of the Year. This is well-deserving considering the team's 14-3 record, a GAC Western Championship, and a number one seed in the GAC tournament. Indoor nationals for track will be attended by two mile relay teams from OBU. Both the men's and women's teams are hoping to compete well and gain an All-American title. The NCAA tournament send-off for the men's basketball team will be on Wednesday, March 10th at 5 p.m. at the Noble Complex. The NCAA championship for track will have its send-off the same day at 1.30 p.m. at the J.P. Chance Building. 
This has been your weekly sports. After the break, we'll be back with Colton and Beth. Ah, the cafeteria, where students can eat a supposedly healthy meal. No matter what they eat, everything ends up in the same place. The dish return! The process for properly returning your dishware and cutlery to the kitchen staff for cleaning is easy. First, identify the clearly marked doors to the entrance and exit. Then, walk in through the entrance and place your dirty dishes on the revolving carousel. Finally, leave through the door marked exit. Congratulations! You know how to properly return your dishes in the cafeteria. Thank you, Sylvia, and thank you to those of you watching for tuning into our show today. We will be back with OBU TV next week. Thank you for joining us. That's all for today, folks.